Welcome back to Soda City Live. Some interesting facts for you today. Did you know that about 25% of you watching this show right now are a part of the sandwich generation? What is the sand sandwich generation, you ask? Well, unlike its name, it suggests this isn't food related, but instead defines adults who care for their own children and also their older parents, leaving them sandwiched in between. Now, between parenting and work-life balance, your own self-care may be compromised, creating stress and eventual burnout. Gerontologist Dr. Macy Smith joins us today to share tips on more ways we can help the uh, sandwich generation and to find that balance. And also joining us from Orangeburg's uh, Senior Helping Center is Rob Williams Sr. So glad to have the two of you joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you. So happy to be here, Sierra. I love it. I love it when you come with these resources and when mm -hmm. you bring friends that come to share additional resources, mm -hmm. especially for those living in the Orangeburg area. So let's kind of briefly go back over sandwich generation and got some of the roles that the sandwich yeah. generation kind of takes on. So it's just what you said too, they're sandwiched in the middle. They are taking care of an older adult loved one or even an adult child with a disability. And then they're taking care of maybe their husband, their own children, and they're still working too. So they are sandwiched in between a lot of different things. They're experiencing high levels of stress, which brings about some health care conditions as well that they may not even be paying attention to. Right. And so it does lend itself to some um, really situations that could possibly be prevented if they had support to be able to help them care for their older adult loved ones. So I love bringing, bringing in the resources. Yes. I tell you about it and yes. I bring some of the resources in. And so when we talk about the Orangeburg Senior Helping Center, that whole area, there are some you know health disparities there. So to have a center like that in that pocket is very, very helpful, but a lot of uh, caregivers and family members don't really know about it. Right, and so Rob, let's talk a little bit about the resources that you all offer at the Senior Helping Center. Yes, we are a PACE Healthcare Program, which stands for Program of All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly. Um, so we have a team of doctors, nurses, therapists, licensed social worker, transportation, all that comes together and help support the, the participant that's in the program as well as the family and the caregiver. We provide respite services. We have an adult day health center that allows wow. the participant to come into the center during the hours of the day. We're open from eight to five. That gives the caregivers a break, you know, some family time, or even able to go to work. Um, so we offer a lot of services at the center. And you know what, I think resources like that is uh, especially essential when you are caring for someone in the home and not mm. necessarily them being institutionalized. So it could be a lot of pressure on a person as a caregiver. Yeah. Um, and like you said, there's so many times that you, when you are in a position of being a caregiver, you neglect yourself yeah. and then your own health in turn mm. kind of starts to decline. And so um, we have a couple of tips mm -hmm. that you have given us and we're gonna pull that up on the screen just to kind of briefly talk about um, some ways that we can kind of help to alleviate yeah. some of that stress. So it's important to know too, Sierra, you'll be surprised to know that some people don't even identify as a caregiver. But if you find yourself sandwiched in between, you want to delegate tasks. Because sometimes you don't get help from other family members because they don't know what they need to do. And then you want to take care of yourself because you can't care for other people if you're not caring for yourself. So stay on top of those doctor's appointments. And then tap into those local community networks such as Meals on Wheels. I'm telling you, somebody can come in you and bring your meal. And yes. cook. That yes. takes a load off and then really tap into those uh, resources, those respite options. A lot of times family members don't really take full advantage of respite options like programs of all-inclusive care PACE, which they're all over the country. And so definitely tap into those services. It's important to note that um, providers like PACE, they do accept insurance. And so oh, wow. Medicare and Medicaid, so that may be something that you may not have to pay out of pocket. So definitely, that's what that's what they're here for. So you got to take advantage of those services, but they got to know about them first. I love it. Well, thank you to, uh, to the two of you for joining us and sharing these details. Um, Dr. Macy, as always, is a pleasure. And Rob, before we go, can you tell us a little bit um, where people can find uh, details about PACE? Yes, you can go to, um, for PACE, you can actually go to the website. We have orangeburyshcpace.com. That's our website, orangeburyshcpace.com. Or you can call 803-268-5301. That's 803-268-5301. Or you can follow us on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, they're all over. <laughs> awesome. So there's no excuse. Well, again, thank you. Uh, I want to thank the both of you for joining us today and sharing these resources and these tips. We'll have them on our website, SolarCityLive.com. And don't go away. We have much more coming up after the break.